So what's the use of creatine in and around concussion? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Heisig, and today we're gonna to talk about the very common, very popular uh, gym supplement, creatine, creatine monohydrate. Uh, so a lot of people think of it as a gym supplement. They think it's limited to strength and power athletes or people that need to kind of explode and burst. And that's because creatine is actually used in this one step uh, energy production. Uh, so you have creatine phosphate, you cleave off that phosphate and you add it to ADP to create ATP. So this is one step creatine kinase, creatine phosphate, creatine energy. And why this is useful, uh, we'll talk about both before and after concussion, is that part of concussion pathophysiology, part of the problem in concussion is that after your head injury, after the head impact or the body impact that caused a concussion, within three to five days, your brain energy levels dip by about 20%. And so where creatine comes in is creatine is this one step anaerobic energy production pathway. From a prevention and from a prophylactic standpoint, I like all of my athletes, all my contact athletes, hockey, rugby, football, soccer, lacrosse, um, I like all those, those guys and gals to be taking creatine because if we can maintain creatine levels and we don't deplete them throughout the season or throughout practices and games, um, you go into that concussion with better energy levels so you don't see as much of that, that anaerobic dip. When we're looking at it, common dosing, this is not medical advice, but common dosing around creatine is gonna be three to five grams a day. And that's just gonna be your maintenance athletic dosing. What we find is that the brain metabolism of creatine and the brain production of its own creatine is very tightly regulated. And three to five grams of creatine is not gonna boost your creatine in your brain so much. So to dose that and get kind of the cognitive benefits and the, the mental benefits after a concussion, uh, you wanna see doses near 10 to 20 grams. And when we hit that 10 to 20 gram dose, we see benefits in the mental and cognitive fatigue. We see benefits in headaches. We see benefits in working memory. And we see benefits in dizziness. Even still, to a lesser degree, uh, we see some benefits in sleep deprivation. So people perform a little bit cognitively better after taking creatine. Um, after a night of poor sleep than if they had a night of poor sleep and no creatine. In addition to the brain benefits, we also might have some cardiovascular benefits. Uh, there's some evidence to suggest that supplementing with creatine can spare this molecule called SAMe, s um, and that's actually used for the production of creatine. You need SAMe to produce creatine, so if you just throw creatine in there, you don't use as much SAMe. Um, and that appears to, to preserve SAMe, appears to lower inflammatory homocysteine levels. Um, so when you have homocysteine getting too high, we, that's associated with cardiovascular risk and inflammation um, and things that we don't like. So if by putting creatine over here and sparing s methionine, you might actually be able to lower homocysteine levels and that might have um, sort of this anti-atherosclerotic effect. Uh, and it's minimal and we don't have a bunch of strong evidence there yet. But that's kind of cool, a cool little side benefit of creatine. So to recap, prevention-wise, creatine maintains and kind of keeps a good store of energy levels so your brain doesn't dip as much after the fact. And post-injury, it actually helps raise those energy levels back up so you're not dealing with as much cognitive fatigue and headaches and things like that. Uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about concussion, PCS, go ahead and give my account a follow. Thank you for watching.